What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another stream here on twitch.tv slash kind of funny games for a nice little afternoon, Thursday afternoon bonus stream. I'm Barrett Courtney, and here joined with me is, to me at least, he is my king of Halloween at kind of funny, the new face of video games, blessing Eddie Oye Jr. What is up, young Halloween king? How are you doing today? Fair. I'm glad that you introduced me the right way, and you used my official title, the King of Halloween. I, I got you. Second. I've I always been team... Bl oh, there it is. There it is. I gotta pull out the crown, sent to me by OneFun.com. Fun, <laughs> fun costumes. This is a sponsored stream. We're not sponsored by Fun.com. We're not sponsored by Spirit Halloween. They're just the brands that like to acknowledge me by yeah. my actual title, which is the King of Halloween. Barrett, I'm happy to be here. And thank you for bringing that up, of you being the King of Halloween. Uh, other organizations understanding that and respecting that. Because if you're wondering, today we are streaming for the Extra Bonus Thursday stream to get into the spirit of Halloween. Pumpkin Jack, if you don't know, Pumpkin Jack is all about stepping into the shoes of the mythical Pumpkin Lord. Pumpkin Jack, uh, ne uh, new gen edition, sees you set out on an epic quest to help evil triumph over good. 3D platforming challenges in the colorful and diverse Arc and Seal Kingdom are mixed with fun combat encounters where you can deploy an awesome arsenal of weapons, occasionally with a snarky crow or a haughty owl fighting at your side, as well as solving light puzzles and taking on various mini-game challenges. Pumpkin Jack New Gen Edition is an old-school 3D platformer inspired by the likes of Medieval and Jack and Dexter, created by solo developer, and I might butcher this, I apologize, Nicolas uh, Maisonnier. Available Ooh, on October. You put a flare on that beard. It looked that like it great. needed a flare. So uh, a flare uh, again, on. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Uh, available on October 27th with uh, blessing. I'm looking at our date. That was yesterday, so it's out yeah. now uh, for everybody out there. The new gen edition of the game for PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S has a performance mode that targets up to 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. And on PS5 and S Xbox Series X, a quality mode is also available that targets up to 4K resolution at 30 frames, but also adding a higher quality effects and shadows with ray tracing. So we're here today. We're getting into the spirit of Halloween, because if you don't know, Halloween is this Sunday, and yes. we've got the King of Halloween here. It makes sense for him to be playing a game called Pumpkin Jack. I love the. To get I love that you came spirit. in with a costume too, Barry. You're rocking the Buzz Lightyear. Of course, come, that's coming off of yesterday's announcement or release of the trailer yeah. of the Lightyear movie, which looks really cool. I'm very excited. For very that. excited for that. But uh, we're here to have a festive time, and I'm very, I, again, I'm very excited because this game is a game that's already been out on other platforms, right? And I've heard many things about this game. Uh, the main thing is that this game takes a lot of inspiration from the PSQ platformers that you love. Exactly, which, which made why, it made sense. Like not even just the Halloween layer of like why you should be playing this to get us all uh, hyped up for Halloween this weekend, but also on the other layer, and this is why. I, like I, I respect that they're like, hey, we want Blessing and Barrett hanging out for this, is because we are like the the PS2 era 3D platformer fanboys yeah, here. We love we love the 3D platformers, and when they came to us and they were like, hey, you guys came to mind. Mm. We got you. We got you a PS2 era style 3D platformer with Halloween vibes. We want you to play. You know, you know what I said to them, Barrett? You What'd know what you I say? said to them, Barrett? What'd you say? I said nothing because they hit up Tim and then Tim came to me. But I told Tim, hell yeah. I told Tim, yes, I'm all about this. Let's yes. do this. I'm, I'm very happy about this. And so without further ado, I got to take off the hat because I can't wear my headphones. I, I, I love that you have to like hold it all together because it looks like you're kind of like, you're like, uh, you're, you're buzzing in. You're like, uh, you got like an earphone jack and you're like. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm part of Men in Black, but like <laughs> a certain division. But the, the Halloween division. Like during October. Yeah, yeah. And we also have here off camera, uh, one snow bike Mike. I don't know if he's back from, uh, uh, I think he was going to get some water but snowbike mike is also Once here the uh time, the normal uh king of the twitch king. streams here and he is going to be helping us give away 60 codes for this game for the next two hours uh so i'm sure when mike gets back here we'll uh we'll we'll start facilitating some giveaways here we've got 60 codes and let me uh let me see here we've got a bunch of codes for ps5 in europe we got a bunch of codes for ps5 for north america and we got a bunch of codes for Xbox Series X slash S global so codes. Yes. And uh, and but and Mike's got those codes when he comes back. I'm sure we're going to be handing out codes left and right because we got two hours. This is for the new gen edition, too. Yes. Right? So we're, playing, we're, we're focusing on next gen right now. So somebody asked if we had a, a previous gen code. This is for the new gen edition of the game. So we're talking about the ray tracing. We're talking about the 60 FPS. We're talking about the good textures. We're talking about all the stuff you love. Uh, and so if you're rocking with that PS5 or that Xbox Series X, boy, we got codes for you. We got 
got a lot of code for you. Soulless, heartless monsters across the world. The monsters lay waste to every city, every home, every leaky outhouse. Also, Chad, how's audio? I saw one, I saw one person mention that I seem quiet. It was beautiful. Let us know if that's the case. But I don't know. Maybe that's just that one person. Reason, I might just be loud. The humans quite enjoyed their safe, boring little lives. They couldn't handle a few pesky monsters coming in and tearing them all limb from limb. Game so is super loud. They I'm bringing it down just a little bit. Mighty wizard. A sorcerer with the skill and intellect to break the curse and usurp the devil's power. The wizard departed his luxurious tower in his studies to find the power he needed to break the curse of the eternal. Oh, we don't want to. We don't want to break the curse of eternal well, night. The devil said, Two can play that game, and who knows? This might be the fun I've been looking for." So, in response to the wizard's quest, he called. Yeah. So far, this is nailing the PS2 vibes. Yeah. Stingy Jack. <laughs> I'm already like, yeah, this this feels like some early. And then, yeah, I, I feel like I'm uh, like the way the presentation is. I feel like I'm about to go like on a, a, a themed Halloween ride, which I'm like really in the mood for right now. So it's it's nailing that. And made him a deal. But I, I I love hearing the description that we were sent. Uh, we're sent on an epic quest to help evil triumph over good, which is such a a fun little inverse yeah. for Halloween. Yeah. He gave Jack one simple mission: find the wizard and destroy him. Oh my god. So we got to we got to keep this curse of uh forever forever night going. Oh, here we go. Dude, just... do you know what this already reminds me of? Bear, you you have you played Kingdom Hearts 1? I have. A very you know long the, time ago, I never the like played Town through level. it. Yeah, yeah. I see that. that. I, this already reminds me a little bit of that. Mm, mm. Just pure off, purely off of vibes. Yeah, I, I also I, I like the pumpkin Jack here. I like he's got a little bit of a like his outfit here. Bless. He he he's given me like bounty hunter vibes, which like on the mission that we're kind of going on, this is like kind of like a bounty hunter type of mission. I like it. So I had to, had to give that glamour shot. Yeah. That video game. Yeah, trailer, yeah, yeah, yeah. The pan video around. game. Yeah, pan. This is, how, this is how you know that um, we've been working on the Blessing Show for a while, and I've been capturing footage for it because I'm <laughs> now thinking about the shots that I'm given. That's that's something funny for uh, the Arkham Files, where I appreciate uh, Roger used some of some of the uh, the the pans that I used uh, while playing those games. I got an owl. Very Zelda Ocarina of Time right here. Ooh. Look who Bob did show up. I trust you haven't already lost your brain in that gourd. Grown men have died for less than that bird. Party and insubordinate. <laughs> Not an amazing first impression, Jack. That reminds me of the Keen Peel skit with the substitute teacher. Uh, who are you? How do you know my Why? name? I am a servant of the devil. Jesus. Uh, and I'm here to monitor your work. The devil hasn't forgotten the penchant for trickery, Jack. He doesn't trust you. Just don't slow me down. I haven't forgotten how to roast chicken. Dang. Just remember, that's a, that's a bar. Just remember who gave you that fancy new body. Speaking of which, let's begin your orientation. Wow. Orientation? What kind of fool do you take me for? The kind who, sp who spent centuries in corpor corporalis. That's a new one. In corporalis. Uh, now stop dawdling. It's time you get acquainted with your new form. All right. All right. Bet. Bet. That must be weird to like not have a, not have like a body form for such a long time. <laughs> Could you imagine a bear not having a body? What would you do if you were just a soul floating around? Floating around. Where would you go? I don't know. Endless opportunities, though, you know. I'd visit the landmarks. I'd hit up the Eiffel Tower. Ooh, yeah. Tower and since you're floating around, because I have, like, such a great fear of heights, uh, <laughs> since I'm floating around, it's mainly the feeling of falling, right? Mm -hmm. But since I can control, like, when I'm going up and down and stuff, I, could, I, I would totally love to do things like that. I love that we're applying our... Oh, my God. That's wild. <laughs> That's wild that the game glitched out like that. <laughs> scripted death. <laughs> scripted death. Wow, that's a wild that has a scripted death scene like that as well. Should everyone take a voice like a uh, Doki Doki? Oh, I actually do like that. Do you want to be the owl? I'll be Pumpkin Jack. Okay, yeah. Whenever the owl uh, pops up, we'll do some role playing here. I gotta get into like an owl, owl voice. I'm gonna take this hood off. So like I'm I'm building my buzz my lazy Buzz Lightyear costume in like pieces to have like for years to kind of just like use new checkpoint. 
Um, oh, that was great. <laughs> thank you. So like I'm getting a, like another piece where it's like more of like the actual purple cap fitted to my head. Hoo hoo, not decent. bad so far, Jack. You've shaken off those cobwebs well. It does feel good to have my. I wasn't here during Doki Doki, so I gotta, I gotta like ease into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta it warm up to it. Feel good to have my own body again, arms, legs, everything. You, you who really put them to the test from here? There will be monsters ahead. You who shouldn't have any trouble fighting them off. Well, I've never been one to turn down a chance to bash some heads in. Whoa. We're bashing heads. But why heads. should they attack me? Has nobody told them I'm on their side? Oh, that's a good point. They can't be told anything, Jack. Monsters are mostly mindless miscreants. They can barely tell each other apart, let alone something like you. Pumpkin or not, you're still human. That alone makes you their target. Okay, here's the thing. Right, I don't know how to do a voice, and I feel like I gotta establish <laughs> a voice for this character. But like, I'm not a voice actor. I'm not Andy. It's true. And so like, what does none Pumpkin of us, Jack none of us like? can be Andy when it comes to voice acting. So that's why I don't, like. Mm. <laughs> like what? Uh, okay. So that's why the. Mm. So that's why the devil need. That's why the devil needs me. He needs someone who can think like a man. I might just be me. I might just be. Yeah, me. just be you, blessed. This new and uh, here's the thing, and this is the magic of Pumpkin Jack. He can be anybody you want. You know. Everybody, if you think about it, everybody is Pumpkin Jack. This new enemy is clever, Jack. He needs someone just as clever. I see. And he doesn't mind I'm cutting down his monsters. <laughs> I don't know, man. Ooh, <laughs> they're practically worthless. Do you do what you must? Just get the job done. I love the poll someone put up in chat. Will Bless blow out his voice uh, again, trying to oh do a God. voice? <laughs> Probably. Oh, I got a, I got a trophy, and Heck because yeah. I'm wearing sunglasses, it's hard. It's harder for me to read because I have bad eyesight in the first place. I read that as brain new booty instead of brain new body, and so that's where I'm at. Expect that level of uh, that yeah. level of reading for me, chat. Now, one snowbike, Mike. Are you back? He's probably just hanging out. He's hanging out. Cause we got a bunch. We're, we're already what? We're 12 minutes into the stream. We still have 60 codes to give away. Uh, and I need I need Mike here to help me facilitate again. Yeah, um, it'd be great if Mike could play the crow here. Ah, it's back, it's back. Flap away, everyone. Flap your lives. Flap for your lives. Barry, you were a drama kid. I feel like you should play all the characters. <laughs> no, I see. That's the problem. Is like main character stuff. I can't. It's all got to be on you. It's all got to be on you. Okay, man. I'm gonna play the main characters myself. Yeah. Oh great, more birds. Let me through before I pluck you all. Oh, you. I pluck you all raw. <laughs> that's intense. Stay, stay away from a scarecrow. I, I've got claws and I can use them. Me, a common scarecrow? I'm Jack, the greatest rogue to ever live. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, wait, he's got legs. The scarecrow doesn't have legs. And his head isn't stuffed with straw. See, I'm no scarecrow. Now let me through, you Corvid creeps. Mike is finishing his muffin, which like... <laughs> Muffin at two, at 2 in the afternoon, that's a choice. That's a choice. Kah! Not so fast! It seems the birds have the upper hand for once! We'll let you through, Mr. Jack, if you help us in return! At the mercy of a crow, what do you want? A scarecrow often appears that, uh, A scarecrow often appears at the barn ahead! He's been terrorizing us for weeks! He's a menace to crow kind! And I suppose you want me to get rid of him. Yes, yes, and I'll help you to boot. My wings are swift and my beak is sharp. Hmm, some air support. Could be useful. Very well, Bird. Oh, we're about to get some uh, air support here. Kaka! Huzzah! Death to the straw face menace! This is hilarious. Dude, Barry, you're born for this. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Let's go! Ooh, yeah, I like having a bird companion. I love that. I I, I feel like I did make a mistake, though, because I feel like the owl voice was much more easier. I'm ready, Jack. Let's crow. Let's crow. We're getting some crow puns in here. That's great. Let's crow. New checkpoint. Because I, I feel like the thing. owl voice is much easier, but now that we're hanging out with the crow, I got to do the crow voice way more often. Deadheads. Deadhead. Not nah, deadheads. It's uh, what you call like uh, Grateful Dead uh, super fans. Oh, that's a fun fact. I didn't know that. 
I only know that because both of my parents were deadheads back in the 90s. Yeah, Will Barrett uh, not have a voice tomorrow thanks to the crow? Down. Yes, 100%. <laughs> Barrett, have you ever thought about getting back into a career in acting? I've thought about, like, going back to local things um, every once in a while. It's just, it's it's really the time, you know? Uh, in some cultures, crow skulls are good luck and ward off evil. Um, yeah, I've thought about it, for sure. Because I do, like, I, I do miss it, but, like, the thing that always gets me is, like, uh, memorizing lines. And, like, for me, takes that a takes a very it? long time, and so, like... Yeah. I just realistically, if I try to like go out there and audition for things, I just know like that's a level of de dedication that I don't think I really have at this point in my life. Bust this door down, Jack! Really put some. See, I, I I missed what he said. Yeah, you hear about the the thing. That's the thing about the blessing show that um is actually been a big challenge. Is I've transitioned from on the for the on camera stuff from uh, reading from a screen to just memorizing the lines and delivering yeah. them. Just because it, I want it to look better when I'm uh, uh and I want I want like. The, the um, audience perspective to be me looking at the camera as opposed to me yeah. looking at the screen. Yeah. Uh, and so, like, that's been more time consuming than not. Like, as I'm writing, I'm like saying lines over and over again to myself to like memorize the script. Yeah. And it's a big challenge. Yeah, I like, felt bad I, with like all of the takes I had to send Roger. Oh, yeah. Dude, I do the same thing. Because most, uh, most of the takes I was sending him were like me messing up a word or here or there. So, uh, uh, break it down for me, Bless. You've got this shovel. But you've also yeah. got the crow that can like is almost like your. Um, um, He's like a long range. Yeah, attack. your long your long range attack. Yeah, so I have like yeah I have my shovel. Oh my god! So there's a dodge roll which you you gotta love a dodge roll. Uh, yeah, you gotta love a dodge roll. Melee, you've already which, sold Andy on this game for sure. Oh yeah, of course. Skull breaker trophy. Send a monster back to the grave. I love that I'm already at six percent trophy progress. <laughs> um, circle for your dodge roll. Square for your attack. <laughs> Triangle is nothing yet, which I assume I'm gonna get soon. We're, X is we'll probably get it's, something. It's kinda, it controls exactly how you would expect it, which I love. Yeah. Um, I like the crow as the long range thing because I, I, I feel like it's gonna give me some opportunity to first switch ups. Nice. Bear, are you a classic Toy Story Buzz or a new Captain America playing Buzz? Um, the new character. Oh, here we go. All right. All right. Um. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think here. Because he's kind of a skeleton. Yeah, I was going to say, you got to do something that's different from the birds. Yeah. Established. And different from the owl. I feel like those are just... I've, I've already uh, pulled out my two great voice acting cards here. Wait, wait, don't hurt me. Ooh, I like that. Hey, you can talk? Yes, I'm not here to hurt you, sir. Are you sure? You look like a monster to me. Rotten, half dead, soulless. I love the crow just hanging out on top of his head. Of course, I'm a salesman. Oh, well, now I just, now I just want to kill you anyway. <laughs> no, 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 no! Stop! At least browse my wares first. What are you selling? Skins. <laughs> I harvest the skins of interesting dead people for other people to wear. Clothes too. The way the way that I'm performing this reminds me of some TikToks that I really like of basically people who do very bad like acting performances as TikToks. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> like I'm doing it very like stale. Uh, well, I won't kill you, but I want a discount. <laughs> I just love I, I love the idea that like this man is just like yeah I'm I'm selling I'm I'm selling flesh here. Like that's just a, that's a very interesting Jack's market. Like sure why not I'm not yeah. just flesh I made of. I made a pumpkin. <laughs> By all means, please take a look. All right, so I can buy costumes. That's cool. Ooh. The pumpkin, the lumber, cowboy. Oh, there's a oh. samurai costume. Oh, man. We need more crow skulls. All right, I don't want to ruin everything for people, but that sounds really cool. I really want that Ooh. samurai one. Oh, it's the oh ghost God. of Snow Bike Bike. Whoa. And I have giveaway codes. Oh! Baird and Blessing, welcome to the great world of Pumpkin Jack. And of course, it's a spooky fun stream today. And we got a lot of codes to give away, boys. So I'm going to give away some codes right here, right now. What I need everybody to do, if you want to be entered in to win, type in Jack. Type in Jack into the chat. And I'm going to go down the list right now. I have PS5 EU codes. I have PS5 NA codes. And I have 
Xbox Series X and S global codes. So how it's going to go is I'm going to pick a bunch of winners there because you know what? Let's get some energy. I, I, I hear, yeah, here's the thing. Everybody type in Jack. Mike, we're already, well, we're already 20 minutes into the stream. We've got 60 codes to give away. So Mike, I want you to give out 10 codes right off the bat. I'm going to give out 15, Bear. Five Whoa! for each oh, right God. now. 15 codes! Really it, y'all. So codes. type in Jack to be entered in to win. How it's going to go is I'm going to give away five PS5 EU codes. I will tell you in the Twitch whispers. You'll be the first five selected. Guess what? If you're not in the EU, go make a friend with somebody in the EU. Go send them the code or listen up to who wins over in the NA side. And maybe you can trade codes. But we're going to keep it as simple as possible for me, Baird, and Bless. So the first five will be PS5 EU codes. Then the next five PS5 NA codes. And then after that will be X. Box global codes. I will send you a Twitch whisper when you hear your name called. So, Barrett, let's pick some winners right here, right now, because we got a lot to get through. So, our first winner for a PS5 EU code is going to be Optimi Static 92. Optimi or optimistic? It's probably Optimistic 92. <laughs> Optimi, I don't know. You in there? You're a winner of a PS5. Uh, yeah, EU uh, code. Optimistic 92. Uh, mistake like spelled that. with a, a with a Y. First oh, winner. They got me. They got me. The Davy is another winner right there. The Davy's gonna win the underscore Davy. You get a PS5 EU code. Up next after that is gonna be Alex1342. That's two L's. Two L's in there. Two L's, y'all. Two L's, y'all. Congratulations, Alex. You get a code as I copy down your name. Let's give away. Oh, we got so many more codes to give away, y'all. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Two more winners for PS5 EU codes are gonna be that PR guy. Congratulations, that PR guy. You Got a code for EU right there. And then after that, the final EU winner for PS5 is Tom Fury. Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury. I like that name a lot. Tommy Fury. I think uh, maybe To Me Fury? To Me Fury? Uh, Tom Fury? Tommy? 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 I don't know. But guess what? Let's move on to PS5 NA codes right now. Five NA codes coming out right here right now too. Wheels with a Z, 613. Wheels with a Z, congratulations, Wheels with a Z. You're a winner. Moving on, next winner's gonna be Drooly. Drooly, congratulations, you're a winner of PS5 NA code. Three more NA codes for the PS5. It's gonna be Scott Tremper. Scott, what up, congratulations. Scott? Scott, hey, Scotty T, you're a winner, my guy. And then after that, it's gonna be Cotch Sloth. Congratulations to the Sloth right there. You're a winner, Cotch Sloth. And one more. PS5 NA code to give away. It's going to be Spectre 999990. Just made up a bunch of numbers off to your name for fun. All right, five <laughs> Xbox names right here from Ghost Mike giving away all of those ghoulish giveaway codes. It's going to be the Duke of Dustin. The Duke of Dustin, congratulations. You're a winner. Remember, Twitch chat, I'm going to be messaging you on Twitch whispers right after this. Uh, matcha, matcha, matcha yum yum. You're a winner. And then three more so we can get to the awesome voice acting from these two boys. Jimmy Two Shoes. <laughs> Jimmy Two Jimmy, Shoes. Jimmy Two Shoes. You're a winner, Jimmy. Two more winners. And the next one's going to be Ryan Mystery. Ryan Mystery, you're a winner. And my last winner for right now, our first giveaway is going to be Cedo. Cedo. That could be Cody, but misspelled. I, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> C-D-O-Y. C-D-O-Y. CDOY, you're a winner. Those are 15 winners right now for Pumpkin Jack Next Generation. Bear blessing. Take us away as I give away those. Hmm. Codes. Perhaps your new body isn't needed here. Hop out for a minute and look inside. Wow. Hop out of my body. It's called an out of body experience blessing. I've experienced Whoa. it many times on uh, uh, the stage like performing, that, where like I feel like how bad a performance is going, and I can just see the entire set all at once, oh, and just fair. like I'm it's not bringing that energy. I'm forgetting lines. It's terrible. Let me tell you. Of course, your new body is just a shell. You can always use your head. Hoo hoo. Wait. You mean he can get get out of that thing? That's disgusting. Cram it, bird. <laughs> Hop to it, Jack. Drop your body and head inside. <laughs> Hop to it, Jack. Drop it like it's hot. Is what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. Wait, hold on, hold on. What am so I you're just going through a bunch of platforming things while we're doing this, uh, like giveaway. You're fighting some, uh, some. Uh, 
uh, some of the baddies here. That looks like a fun time, Bless. I'm, I'm, I'm having a fun time so far, yeah. Are you gonna crawl around just as the head? Fair. This this camera pan right here is very Donkey Kong 64. That, yeah, that is a very like, okay, we just went into a challenge room and here's like the entire map of it. Yeah. Uh, you can still use your roots to move around, double jump and attack and and something else. I, I couldn't read the rest of the line. <laughs> I want y'all to know that yeah, usually- Yeah, you put your voice through it. Yeah, uh, I want y'all to know that usually when I'm on a stream or usually whenever I'm, I'm at my desk working, my dog, my very sweet dog Lulu will hang out underneath uh, my desk because she likes to be as close to me as possible throughout the day. And we, we have like a little comfy pillow for her to uh, I need to uh, sit on. For this. She has gone away from under the desk to just like sitting in the middle of the room because I think she's like, Barrett, you're talking way too much in very weird voices and it's freaking me out. She's like, who is this person? I don't know this man. <laughs> Bear drinks some water. That's a good That's a good call there. I'm gonna go get some water and I'm gonna get another Coke Zero because I think that's also good for your voice oh, when you're voice acting. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, what, what, what's the what's the puzzle here? I gotta push the crate onto this guy. Ah, yeah, there you go. I'm loving the soundtrack oh, too. Soundtrack is really good. Soundtrack is definitely uh, taking it back from me. This sounds like some uh, PS2 flash, like N64. Yeah, uh, there you go. Music. Oh, we're gaming here. There's some gamers, Barrett. You put a puzzle in front of me, and I'm gonna solve that puzzle. Yeah. I love me a puzzle. I know you love a puzzle. You've said uh, you've said as much on the the blessing show. I have, yeah. An episode that came out. Oh, look at that trophy. Crash Boondicoot. Smashing some crates with your head, myself. Oh my god, I love that. Good for I them. I love how into the, the, the wordplay they're getting in here. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright. Chat, I love how much they're leading into it. I love that they're like unabashedly, like, we know what this game is. We know what we want it to be. We're going to lean into the fact that this is going to have some PS2-ass energy. And I am all about it. Also, I love my crow buddy. Big shout out to the crow homie over here. Okay, we got some rats. Hey, yo, these rats are actually kind of scary. I'm not... <laughs> If there's anything I, I, I don't like in terms of enemies and games, rats that are like creepy looking, I don't dig. That's why I didn't make it that far into Plague Tale Innocence. Guess what? Right. More rats are coming back for Plague Tale's Requiem, so oh my gosh. I'm not out of it yet. Mike, did you did you finish Plague Tale Innocence? I did not, Blessing. Is that worth checking out? What do you, what's your thoughts on that one? I think it's good. I think it's a, I think it's a very good game. It has okay. like a lot of, uh, if you like Naughty Dog games, I think it pulls a lot from The Last of Us, <laughs> just in like the companion, uh, like, you, you, like it, you're making, you're making way, your way through environments with a companion character and like, you kind of got, got to help them get past certain areas. Uh, and it has like good, like back and forth banter, similar to that. Like the mechanics feel very Last of Us, but like, it's definitely an indie game. Uh, let's see. What am I, what am I missing? What am I missing? Aha, I see. Oh, so you do have to be good with rats if you want to play Plague Tale Innocence. Gotta be good with rats. Okay, oh boy, you know are there a lot of rats in that game? Plus, I can honestly say in my life, I have not ran in to many rats. Like, wild rats in your face rats. Once I was at a baseball game, with my family and we were sitting up in the nosebleed and this family they had their pet rat at the baseball game just letting them really? run all over the little boy just sitting there on its shoulder running in circles it was very weird 
Was, was actually, the little boy, was they, were they Ron Stoppable? Uh, uh, <laughs> that is no, the only instance I've heard of somebody having a pet rat like that. So I will say, I actually have not run into like any wild rats in my day where it's like, oh my God, this is crazy, you know, stuff like that. Did you ever have mice in your house? No, not that I could ever tell. I've never wow. had a mouse in the house. There, now, there might have been one that I just didn't see, but I can say that I've never had to deal with uh, mice in the, in, the, in the house. We definitely had that a few times growing up in my house uh, in Illinois. Uh, but when I moved to Nigeria, Mike, uh, when I was in boarding school, they had a rat problem. And when I tell you that these rats weren't the kind of rats you're thinking about, these rats were huge like huge gigantic bellies uh uh yeah like huge rats just running around you would see one of these things and you're like what is that is that a raccoon like that big oh my those rats god. is that terrifying. a giant raccoon that's not good to know yeah. oh my god bro yeah, that sounds terrifying that does not sound good y'all yeah i'll see them very randomly at, at that point in boarding school where i'd be like dear lord get me out of this place Twitch chat, let me know what what's y'all what's y'all's uh, apprehension or fear of rats. Let me know, Twitch chat. Let me know in the chat. I need to know. That definitely added a lot to my fear, Mike. I will say. I bet. I bet, bro. Just the way those things like move, oh I can't do it with rodents. I used to have a big fair spiders, bless. But then I quickly got over those. We had a lot of spiders back in the day outside of the house that were up like on top of the deck. So whenever you'd walk out of the house, you'd look up and there's just like bunch of spider webs and the scariest spiders you've ever seen. Oh my and God, so now yeah. I just like I kill them with my bare hand. Bless. You know what I mean? I'm sleeping. I feel one on me. Bang. Dead. I see oh one God. on the wall. Bang. Dead. I don't even think twice. You know what is I there, mean? Is there a size limit for you? Is, no can a spider be so big that you, you're just like I can't do it anymore? Well, I mean, of course, I haven't run into a, a, a tarantula yet, but I would say the modest, normal spider. No, I'm killing that. Say, straight up. <laughs> Not even looking twice. Not even thinking twice. Tarantula, I, I might freak out. I definitely can do... Like the small, tiny, skinny sp spiders, I can do all day. I can I can kill those easily. I'll smash those with my hand. I don't care. As soon as like the spiders start to have like a little bit of like a belly or like a girth to them, mm. that's when I'm like, mm, no, I can't mm -hmm. do this. Nah. -uh. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. If I, yeah. if I smash that thing and it's gonna leave behind a stain, no, I can't do it. Oh. That. Those that's that's where I'm like, oh, I can't. I... Spiders are spiders are scary for me. They're definitely scary for me. Yeah, I'm I'm the one in the relationship. There's always got to be someone in the relationship. Blessing, I, I, I'll, I'll give you this advice that like is able to take care of spiders, and thankfully Alyssa can take care of spiders because I also I I hate spiders. They they scare me so much. We have some gnarly looking ones in the backyard too. Let me tell you, Blessing, they're really big. Really? They're really thick. One of them oh is like God. black and white stripes. And like that no. concerns me a little bit. Of like, are you poisonous? What's going on with you, buddy? You poison? What you? What you doing? <clears throat> yeah, what's, what's your, your what's up? What's up? You know. What did evolution do to you? <laughs> How do you guys feel about Daddy Long Legs? Daddy Long Legs don't freak me out as much because I feel they're yeah. they're more chill. They got yeah, a little more no. chill. I don't worry about those too much. And it's weird because I'll I'll kill or interact with other bugs that are a little bit sizable that aren't spiders. Mm, mm. If, if, if it's a spider, that's where I kind of yeah. draw the line in terms of- I'll equate it to one yeah. My Hero Academia, right? Where like, I think of the daddy long legs as like kind of like the mindless Nomu, where it's like, yeah, they're kind of a problem, but like, they're not really thinking too much, you know? They're not really thinking that hard, so you don't really have to worry about them too much. And then like the really thick, like re regular spiders, do you smell smoke? Um, we gotta get, we gotta get the flap out of here, Jack. Um. And then the bigger spiders, I think of like as the smart Nomu who can talk. Wait, Run, Jack! The barn is collapsing. Oh, I did not know I was playing. <laughs> it looks so good. You thought you were in a cutscene. Yeah, I was, man. You know, it's serious when that cutscene transition. You don't even realize it. Run, Jack! The barn is collapsing. <laughs> Who'd have thought dry straw and hay could burn so fast? I mean, I was, I was definitely waiting for the voice line. Right That's here. why I wasn't paying attention to the game. Damn, this kind of sick. My hero movie in theaters tomorrow since Jace. Yeah, I got. I still gotta figure out if and when I'm gonna be able to see that. Silly Pants Jackson says bird voice is gonna kill Barrett. I know. We gotta start hanging out with the owl more soon. I really, <laughs> I did not do myself any favors of creating this voice for the bird. For the I would say when we first met the crow, I didn't foresee the crow being a long-lasting character. I was like, certainly the owl. I mean, again, we were around. warned in the description that like the crow and the owl were gonna be hanging out. <laughs> they did stay. They are yeah. gonna be there. That's right. 
Barrett, that sweater is uh, dope, dude. It's not just a sweater, y'all. I'm in a full-on, like, Buzz Lightyear onesie, let me tell you. And uh, it, it did not pan out in the best of days, because it is... It's not sweltering hot, but it is... It's not as hot as that barn right now that's uh, up in flames. But it's warm enough that it is pretty warm inside my bedroom right now. And with this onesie on, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the sweat. Wow, you just wrecked the place, Jack! <clears throat> it, is, it is pretty hot uh, right now in the area. And so wearing... I have on an undershirt under this... Um, this long sleeve button up, and then I have a jacket <clears throat> over it. And let me tell you, I'm sweltering right now. It is hot. Nano's asking, Where did I get that? I do not know because Alyssa was the one who ordered it for me. <clears throat> I was telling, I think it was before the stream started, we we're trying to uh, figure out a, a group costume. Not really for this year because we're not really doing anything for Halloween this year. Uh, nothing like super planned. Uh, but for the future, we want to do a group costume of like Mies Buzz. And like I'm waiting for like, I'm going to like order like separate wings as well for that. Uh, and I've got like a, yeah, I said this earlier of like, I've, I'm getting like a purple cap that's actually <clears throat> more fitted to my head rather than the, the purple hoodie here. And then we're going to get Alyssa either dressed up as Jesse or Woody. And then we're going to try to dress up Lulu as a Slinky Dog. And in the similar fashion, another Pixar uh, group costume we want to do. All right, Mike, are you around? Are you are you hanging I'm out? I'm here. I'm Mike, here. I need you to voice this scarecrow. I need you. I need to, you to give it the best <laughs> scarecrow. <laughs> Let me get it right now. <laughs> Who goes there? Show yourself. God, you guys are so good at this. You guys are so good. Th there he is, Kaka. He's just as menacing as always. Don't be so craven. <laughs> it's just a box standard scarecrow. Did, did he see me? Please tell me he didn't see me. Ah, oh, well, look who's here. Back for more fun, little birdie. Kai, he saw me. Flee, flee, flee. Stop wetting yourself. As for you, it's time you hopped away. Hey, 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 hey. I heard you. Were you skulking around here, Jack? <laughs> we dim-witted monsters not cutting it for the old man. Hmm. Uh -uh. I have my own business, Scarecrow. If you don't get out of my way, I won't mind turning you into Kindling or Kindling. I don't know what that is. Kindling, like uh, Kindling for fire. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Kindling, uh -oh. I see. The devil has the gall to send some wayward soul to do our jobs for us? Well, we'll show him all you humans are good for living or dead. <laughs> I'll bury you again, you wretch. I love the lore that oh, we're getting snap. here. Oh, boss oh fight. Wow. Oh my god, it boss popped off. Fight. Oh, we're getting to some, it's, it's Dark Souls now. Yeah, they're like, they're like, screw being Jack and Jack, so we're gonna be Bloodborne for a hot second. I'll <laughs> give you this right here. Yeah, download the cycle into your, into your memory here, Bless. Yeah, I'm, I'm downloading right now. I'm going for a no death run right now. Even though I've already died. <laughs> Mike, that was a that was a great performance as the scarecrow. Thank I love that. So yeah, that yeah, you know, it's one of those. We did Doki Doki, so I'm ready any time now to jump yeah. in. I'm, I'm ready to give my all. Oh, I was going to say in the uh, in another fashion, another uh, group costume we want to do is uh, the trio from Up. So I'd be the I'd be the old man. Oh. Alyssa would be the wilderness explorer, and then we want Lulu to be uh, Doug. Which would be very easy. She would just have to wear a different collar. I like how they got these different phases. You, you, you know, you got the main boss phase, and then he's sending out his I've ads. I've already got him downloaded. I've already got him downloaded. <laughs> oh, Curse of the Scarecrow! You got him. Let's go. Did you get a new? Did you get a new weapon? I think so. Can I pick it up? There we go. Oh, that is sick. I mean, Carl and Russell. Did I say Ellie? I don't think I said Ellie. Yeah. Jack, yeah. The Alyssa would be uh, Russell. Who could fool even the devil himself has returned to the mortal. For a second, I thought that was one of y'all reading, and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> and his soul one of you guys is really good at voices. Pumpkin. Jack has been joined by his stoic guide, the Owl and commandeered the services of a cowardly crow to fight on his behalf. But there must be no more time for fun and games. 
Jack and his companions of the night must embark upon their quest to slay the wizard. With Jack now perfectly attuned to his new vessel, the owl leads him to the mountains in the distance. For at the heart of the mountains, through a network of ancient mines, lies a powerful secret. Oh, it's you. Oh my god, it's, it's like a stabby stab weapon. Ooh, Ooh nice little spear type thing. I like that. I, I like, like that. that. Yeah, I, I wish I wish Kevin was here with us for this stream because you know what Kevin loves, Mike. Medi medieval. Oh, does he really? Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, he, I, he was no, stoked. I, didn't really when, like that. I, I oh. I'm pretty sure because he was stoked when that got like uh, remade and stuff. So like I feel like this is super up his up his alley. Yeah, okay. this seems to have a lot of oh my god, a lot of medieval vibes to it. <clears throat> Barry, remember that Samurai Jack game that came out last year? Remember the stream we did for that? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I put more time into it. I forgot. But that, I that forgot was all that about was like that. the rabbit hole where I was trying to do too much for that. Where it's like, man, I'm really liking this game, but now like before I play it, I want to like rewatch all the Samurai Jack and like, um, like the original run and like the new season and all this stuff, and then play this game. And I, I, I just gave myself too much homework because then I never did any of it. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. New checkpoint. I keep telling myself that I'm gonna play Riders Republic, and I think I will. But man, it's a bit hard to find time. Yeah. Ah, so many games, so many great games. Yeah, dude. I'm also playing like Dark Pictures Three. Ooh. Uh, still playing Ooh. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. Yeah. Playing um Redacted. Redacted. Mm, I love Redacted. Yeah. Some, oh, someone posted on the Reddit a couple weeks ago when we're finally gonna review Redacted after playing it for years, but. It'll come. It'll come eventually. It's, it takes a while to get through Redacted, man. Yeah. It's, it's not not a, not every uh, day that developers put out a <laughs> five thousand hour game. You know what I mean? <laughs> so they have to give it. So they have to get the game to us two years for embargo. <clears throat> this place is all. This place has seen way better days. The thing I might love most about this game are all the breakable boxes. Well, all the fun little the things boxes. that, yeah, all that health. It's so dark satisfying back. to yeah. break a box and get collectibles out of it. Ka! Why does nothing stay dead around here? Yeah. Can we get a review in progress for Redacted? No. Embargo's not up yet, sorry. No, nah, can't. But on a different note, I could give you my preview of Shin Megami Tensei. <laughs> Because <laughs> the preview bar goes up. I could technically give you my preview of uh, Shin Megami Tensei as well. Did you play enough to preview bear? Played like two hours. Okay, so we probably played around the same. There's still a lot to play right now, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And the more yeah, I'm seeing of this game, I'm like, do I just soon, throw right? it all away this weekend and just play this? You know what comes out soon? Mario Party Superstars. That comes out tomorrow! Which has some really good reviews, and I'm like, God, I stop. Stop putting out good video games, everybody. <laughs> and I see, can't this manage is, this. This is my gripe with, like, Tim and Greg being like, oh, man, it's a weird year for video games. No, it's a, it's a great year for video games. I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, yeah, there's so many video games. So many great... We were swimming like, in nines this year, I'm just going to say. Oh, yeah. It's just the fact that there's, there's not a God of War or Red Redemption 2. But I feel like it's more weird when we get multiple of those games in one year. It's true. Okay, these... Oh, you know what? I am not attacking... Nano this. saying you can beat this game in a day easily? Heck, yeah. Maybe this is what I do on Halloween. Dedicate oh. just uh, Halloween, ha and then like I'm trying to replay Arkham Knight because the last episode of the Arkham Files comes out this Sunday on Halloween, and I've been replaying all the like we streamed me playing through Arkham City, but I've like in my own time I've also been replaying those games to get myself hyped for for the releases of the Arkham Files, Dude, and you know I I've barely doing? put a dent as into Arkham Knight this week. As, as I've been complaining about how many games are to play, you know what I've been doing this week, Barrett? I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart 64. Because that is a very fun <laughs> video game. 
<laughs> oh man. I've been playing so much Mario Kart 64, and I'm like, dang, dang. Ooh, it'd be, it'd be, a, um, it'd be real cool if I had more time to play Ravage Republic. Meanwhile, I've gotten all the golds. Let's hit the, <laughs> let's hit the slopes tonight, Bless. Let, you and me, let's hit the slopes. I got, I got plans to do uh, Dark Pictures 3. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to make way yeah. in that. But I'm Mike, you and me, let's hit the too. slopes tonight, bro. I, I you know will make that. I might be free to hit the slopes with Listen, you. Listen, uh, I, I can convince y'all right, because this is Yami who I'm going <clears> to <throat> Dark Pictures with. I hope you're ready for some cardio, Jack. You'll have to blow these rocks away with... This! Oh, another puzzle room. Ooh, I'm liking these puzzle rooms. Is this, yeah, uh, I like this a lot. Is this the second one that we've gotten? This is the second one, yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I like these mechanics in games when they're like, you know what? We just want to give you a, co a cool obstacle or a cool puzzle. Let's just let's take it. Let's take you out of the main experience and just put you in a room that we've constructed for you. I'm totally down for that. That's yeah. like the shrine. Again, of oh, the like wild, they know the what they were marketing with DK. the whole PS2 era, like 3D platformer kind of stuff. Yeah. They know that they uh, they know the audience they're 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 trying to like uh, bring in here, and that's people like you and me, bless, and that's why we're here. Barrett's working on Man. his voice acting. I don't need to work on my voice acting. It's already a ten out of ten. Yeah, I know. Barrett's already got ten a lot. out of ten. Hey, you remember the, you remember how good the shrines were in Breath of the Wild? Yeah, I do. I do. What a game. What a game. I, start, I, I, I I I'm not doing a full replay of that game, but I, I started it up when uh, I got the Switch OLED. Ooh, so close, so close. How's it look on the OLED? Oh, it's so pretty. Especially when you're getting to that, like, uh, um, golden hour, less, like, with uh, the sunset yeah. and stuff. It's Love so that. pretty. Or are you just talking about regular sunset? What was the other, what, what other sunset are you talking about? I said the blood moon. Oh, I haven't gotten a blood moon yet. So I wonder, like, how the uh, reds always pop on an OLED screen, so. I love the squishy sound he makes when he's jumping just as his head. <laughs> no! Oh, no! Oh, he's got it! Oh, oh, oh! Okay. Is restart. it from the beginning? Oh, yeah, from the restart. Whatever, I know what I'm doing then. Scripted death. Scripted death. Scripted death. Scripted death. Let's speed run this thing. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I get too excited. Run it. I love oh, that. Let's speed run this thing. Okay, you know what? Two scripted deaths. Wow, the game <laughs> has so many in there. Isn't that High Warriors DLC out today? I don't know. There's High Warriors DLC. Yeah, they announced it a, a couple months ago. I think it, it wasn't at that same direct that uh, did the. Oh! Oh! I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting too, too thirsty. I need to take a patient. Yeah. Okay. Patient Pete, Ooh. patient Pete, patient Pete chat. It's giveaway ghost Mike once again, because I got Whoa. too many codes and I got a giveaway. So I need y'all to type in pumpkin to be entered into win some PS5 EU, PS5 NA, and Xbox codes for all the global audience out there. Type in pumpkin to be entered into win, to win pumpkin jack next generation right here, right now with me, Blessing and Barrett. Type in pumpkin and I will be selecting some winners once you guys all start typing in pumpkin. What if this I is believe in you. stream? I believe in you, Bless. Don't get no, don't let it get into your head. It's Does already it, in there. Is there a timer of it blowing up at some point? No, I don't think there is. Okay. No, I think he's good, yeah. Yeah. Don't speed run it then. Be patient Pete here. Oh, that's a good time. Yeah, there you go, there you go. There you go, buddy. Oh, it's gotta hope oh. it doesn't go too far. Because you can't control the, the distance. Right, it's a tough right, thing. right. There we go. Not bad. Pro gaming right here. There we go. Oh! No. 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 Oh. no. 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 Wait, it was still there. Oh, it's still, still there. there. Okay. Oh, okay. You're okay. So lucky. I love it. Love that. <laughs> now we frequently uh, have. <laughs> no, you didn't do that. No, you didn't do that. <laughs> we frequently like have a, a, a random guest come in for kind of funny content, uh, who goes by the name of Watto. 
He, he constantly talks about how, you know, he used to know Lil Annie who's no bigger than a, a small pumpkin. And I'm just saying, that's pretty small for a child. Because I'm looking at this pumpkin head right now for Pumpkin Jack. And I feel like that's pretty small for a child. The size of a pumpkin? Yeah. Wasn't Greg's baby at one point the size of a pumpkin? When in his app that he was tracking? It was, it was tracking to be the size of a yeah, pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. I think it came out a little bit smaller than a pumpkin. So uh, now I got a question like if Watto actually like understands pumpkin proportions or does pumpkin jack just have a small pumpkin head? Uh, pumpkin I mean the jack, pumpkin, pumpkin the pumpkins in space hit different. They're a different size. Oh, <laughs> different sizes. Yeah, yeah, space pumpkins. Pomer man. Ah. Job, that's a good one. That's a good callback. Yeah, that's a really good one. I love that one time I was hanging out with Mike and we were talking about Greg's baby and I said that it was tracking to be a big baby and ever since then, any time he gets the chance, Mike says, oh, it was tracking to be big. <laughs> That's my new thing right there, it it's tracking to be huge. <laughs> Yo, this looks awesome. Yeah, it this is, is fun. this is bringing me back to him to just like uh, uh, being in like the the basement, ho uh, hooking up the PS2 and just playing some fun, some fun 3D platformers like this. Yeah, man, it, it's super awesome. I, I was looking into it, and uh, Nano when he was saying like, oh, you could beat it in a day. I was like, huh, really? And I was just looking at like how long to beat. It's like four and a half hours. I'm and like, Tim, Yo, here's the I other thing, it. Tim. I'm hearing it's an easy platinum. So if you're if you're looking for a platinum, oh, just saying. That's actually that's really that's a perfect sell to me. I'm like, yo, it's a short game and it's an easy platinum for this type of game. It incentivizes you to make the most of it. I yeah. kinda like it. That's a way to spend your Halloween, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody watching here on Twitch.tv slash Kind of Funny Games, where of course we are doing a bonus. Thursday stream to play Pumpkin Jack to get into the spirit of Halloween this weekend. If you didn't know, you're stepping into the shoes of the mythical Pumpkin Lord, Pumpkin Jack. New Gen Edition sees you set out on an epic quest to help evil triumph over good. Uh, 3D platforming challenges in the colorful, diverse Arc and Seal Kingdom are mixed with fun combat encounters where you can deploy an awesome arsenal of weapons, occasionally with a snarky crow or a haughty owl, uh, voiced by one Barrett Courtney on this stream, fighting Excuse at your you? side. Uh, a hot owl? <laughs> a haughty owl. Um, it as, is hot too, though. <laughs> <laughs> as well as solve uh, light puzzles and take on various mini game challenges. You just saw uh, Blessing solve one of those light puzzles, and I'm liking the, the, the puzzle room so far. Pumpkin Jack New Gen Edition is an old school 3D platformer inspired by the likes of Medieval and Jack and Dexter, created by solo developer Nicolas Messonnier. Available on October twenty seventh, which was yesterday, so it's out now for everybody. The new gen edition of the game for PS five and Xbox Series X slash S has a performance mode that targets up to four K resolution at sixty frames per second on PS five and Xbox Series X. A quality mode is also available that targets up to four K resolution at thirty frames per second, adding uh, higher there quality you. effects and shadows with I ray to tracing. On performance I, and, I yes, there you go. There you go. That, Although let's let's quality. check out that quality mode. Let's check out just to see. Just Ooh, you okay. want to check out the quality? Okay. Check out the quality mode, bless. Oh dang, it already changed too. As soon as they hit wow. the in the menu, whoa! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that difference! Yeah, wow! Mode. Whoa! What the heck? Bringing in all those shadows, those deeper colors there. I like that. No, 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 Jack! <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I could use this. Sixty frames per second isn't it. worth it, but they are. The frames are worth it. The frames are so good. Uh, or if this emo canary doesn't cram a worm in it, I'll use him to pillow. I'll, I'll use him for pillow stuffing. Jesus. Ew. All right, guys, have fun. I'm down to See you, Tim. Peace Tim. Tim. I like that he's an. He's called him an emo canary. If you go anywhere in that old cot, you'll kill us all. I fail to recall when you were calling the shots. It'll take more than this rusty old sardine tray to do me in. This malfeasance is going your, in your report! Is he my supervisor now? Jack, you madman! Let's go! Yo, look at that. Quality. I like it. He's like, I'm gonna report it. you, but like, you crazy Let's enough? Go. I'm, we're doing it. We're doing it. You madman! Let's pick some winners right here, right now. I got a bunch of codes. I'm gonna read off some names. The first five, you are getting codes for the PS5 EU. So if you're out in the EU, congratulations, you got a code. And if you're not in the EU, go make a friend. Send it to somebody you love that maybe's in the EU or make a new friend in the chat. But my first five winners for PS5 on the EU side is gonna be 
Fluffy Jays, Fluffy Jays, congratulations, you're a winner. Let's keep it rolling right now. Up next is going to be Nerd Cave Network. Congratulations, Nerd Cave Network. Up there after that one's going to be PS Witch. Congratulations, PS Witch, you're a winner. Two more winners on the EU side. It's going to be Granite Cold. Cold Granite. I've, I've had that. I've felt that before. And then it's going to be... Bay Ocelot? I don't know. Can I, can I get a correction a be- on this a Bexalot? Is my Bexalot? guess. Bexalot. Bexalot. I like that. Bexalot, congratulations. You're a winner of a PS5 EU code. Let's go on over to the NA and pick five winners right here, right now. It's going to be SSJ Pinocchio. Pinocchio, congratulations. You're a winner. SSJ Piccolo. <laughs> I was waiting for you to correct me inside. <laughs> Up next going to be Blue Moon. Blue Moon Rising, one, two. Congratulations, Blue Moon Rising. You're a winner of a PS5 NA code. After that, Yo Jimbo. Yo Jimbo, congratulations. You're a winner as well. Two more winners on the PS5 NA side. Quail Lad, Quail Lad. Oh, it's Quail Lad from Doug. I know that guy. I like that movie. And then Quail Lad. What, what was her name? Becky Mayonnaise, Patty Mayonnaise. My mom loved Patty Mayonnaise. Patty Mayonnaise, Patty Mayonnaise Doug. And uh, Jarnan. Jarn and GM. J- Jaren GM. <laughs> Just throwing it out there, baby. Uh, little Jacob is going to win an Xbox code. Five Xbox codes given away right here, right now. Little Jacob, congratulations, my friend. Up after that is going to be Boda J13. Boda J, congratulations. You're a winner, my friend. Three more winners right now because I got a whole lot of codes we got to get through. Psych Detective, congratulations, Psych Detective. You're an Xbox winner. Keep it and moving. It's going to be horrible, horrible. Congratulations. You get an Xbox code. And my final giveaway winner for right now is going to be Bobby Venom. Bobby Venom, congratulations. You are a winner right there. Don't worry, everybody. If you didn't win, I got so many more codes to give away. Like I said, if you're not in the EU, send it to somebody you love. Make a new friend. And also... For all you best oh. friends out there, remember Sorry. you can support us here on twitch.tv slash kind of funny games in so many awesome ways by subscribing, by bit donating. But also remember, if you're subscribed at the tier one through three level, you get ad free viewing, you get awesome chat emotes, you get to play games with us when we open it up to the chat. And you don't want to pay for a sub. Guess what? If you, your mama, your daddy, your auntie, your uncle, your best friend over in the EU has Amazon Prime, we'll take that Amazon Prime account, link it with the Twitch account, make a Prime Gaming account. You get two awesome things. One, Prime Gaming loot each and every month. Amazon Twitch, send your free stuff. Whole lot of free PC video games right now, Bear. A lot of free games they're giving you. And best of all, you get one free sub each and every 30 days. So use it on your favorite content creators here on Twitch. And best of all, you don't have to watch these Twitch ads. So if you're not subscribed, think about subscribing so you don't have to sit through a block of ads. Enjoy. Okay. I just got we had we just had that cart section. Yeah, I was when gonna we say, were yeah, we like we, we need to we need to pause and but talk like, about that because that was on, awesome. Bro. Come on, bro. They know what they're doing. They know, they know what they're, they're doing. doing with this now and I talk, they pulling at my heartstrings here. With, I know uh, why they came to us. And now. even they with like, like the music playing at the same time, it like really brought me back to DK64. It was so good. It was so good. I love that. It seems like their vision for this one was, we want to make a 3D platformer's greatest hits. A classic 3D platformer's greatest hits. And you know what? They're nailing it. Shout out to Pumpkin. Nailing I it. Love, I love that so much. <laughs> now, I will say, as someone brings up Donktober in the in the chat, because as, as, as some of you may know, we celebrated Donktober. We went all, all out last year and played through Donkey Kong 64 uh, through the month of Donktober, a.k.a. October. Um, and I will say, for Halloween that year, right, when we when we finished uh, Donkey Kong 64, we dressed up. You dressed up as Donkey Kong. I dressed up as yeah. Diddy Kong. Uh, I still have that monkey onesie with the tail. And I will say that Lulu, I think, prefer, definitely still prefers that onesie over my Buzz Lightyear one because she was really fascinated with the fact that I had a tail. And she was like, are you... <laughs> are, are you one of me? Are you a dog? You're also <laughs> f- fluffy now. Are you a dog? I love that. Damn, that feels like 20 years ago. I will say Donktober does feel like a lifetime ago. Dude, can you believe that I'm about to I'm about to hit the my two year anniversary of working here in January? I know. That doesn't feel real. I feel like I'm I gonna be here for three years. That's the weird thing too. <laughs> like, what? Like, we've added three more full time employees since you've gotten here, Barry. I know. And like I've barely gotten oh. to work with any of them <laughs> in person. I worked with oh, you for like man. two months. Yeah, we were in the office for two months, and then we had to say sayonara to each other. Yeah. 
I believe in you, Bless. I believe you can get up there. I, I can I? I believe in you. Oh, what, yeah, what if you? Yeah, what if you? Yeah, there you go. Easy peasy. Just gotta uh, gotta get a better angle on it. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah, I think I'm going that way. Yeah, I'm going that way. Oh my God. Ooh. Yeah, they're putting the pressure on. I appreciate the chat having the buddy system here, trading codes, all that good stuff, taking care of each other. New checkpoints. That's better. Now these vultures. What are these vultures spitting out at you? Just poison. Oh, oh you gosh. don't want to know, Barrett. Oh, they're. I think they're throwing up a little bit. They got some acid reflux that they're taking care of. That's what happens when you die. <laughs> you get acid reflux. Ooh, hold on, we got two ways. No, that's just what there. happens when you get old blessing. This is one of the ones where you're like, I want to, I want to go the, um, the like the incorrect way, right? Like, which right. path is the path not for? I've, so I've been playing a lot of games this last week, blessing, where I'm like, okay, I'm supposed to go this way, yeah. I think. But is there so a way I'm not supposed way. to go? Yeah. Right, it was, it was like my key that? Final Fantasy VII remake issue. <laughs> not issue, but like dilemma that I always found myself Where it was, it, was, it was hard to figure out what was the right way, what was the wrong way. Oh! Yeah. Jamming out to some music here. Oh my god. What in the world? <laughs> what is happening? I love it. I don't know what this is. They're like, let's make the perfect video game for Blessing at AOA Jr. Why did who, who did this? Hey yo, what's his name? Dan, uh, uh, what was the, the French guy? Nicolas. Nic uh, Nicolas uh, Maisonnier. Maisonnier, bro, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> that was awesome. What in the world? That was that was like. Are there more gramophones like that? Like just out there that there we're gonna be. dance to? Yeah, there, that must be a collectible, and I love that that was basically a Fortnite dance. <laughs> <laughs> That was the default dance for Fortnite, basically. I love that so much. Oh my god, Nicolab uh, Missonier. <laughs> oh. oh, here we go, here we go. Ooh, new character. Ooh! Let's go no further. This place does not welcome you. Who dares turn me away? I'm Jack, mercenary of the devil himself. I'm the guardian of this place and the power it contains. <laughs> Heed this warning, Jack. If you do not leave willingly, you will be removed from here in a thousand pieces. Uh oh. That's a lot of oh pieces. Boy. Oh man. Who the heck was that? Talk about your restless dead. Oh my god. Don't look down, Jack! I know you want to, but don't do it. It's really scary. Especially if you're afraid of heights, like me. Oh my god, you're alive still. Yeah, he's, he's coming uh, back for you. Can a bird get vertigo? Cause eek! <laughs> Big Red Games uh, says, Just a thought, Blessing and Janet should see who can get more Platinums by the time Greg returns. I mean, y'all already had the Platinum Challenge this year. Yeah, we had the Platinum Race. First of three. Her, and yeah. so, like, I don't want to embarrass her too much, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. We can't, we can't have that happen back to back, because then it turns to, then it turns into, oh, Blessing's bullying, bullying Janet because he's still good at getting trophies. And it's like, we don't want all that. But, but all okay, that. now, here's the thing. You're saying this, and I know someone's going to clip it out and send it to her. And she's going to be like, all right, bet. And then she's going to, she's going to clown you out. Did I mention don't touch oh, the carts? 
Because don't touch the cards! Oh, that was easy. Oh, yeah. You got it. See, that's, like, part of the, the fun with, like, these kind of segments in uh, 3D platformers. It's, like, almost the challenge is, like, where to go? Can I make that jump? That's where game design comes in. There was one jump where I was like, hmm, where do I go? And I saw some ropes on a thing, Ooh, and I was like, oh, check it's points. I appreciate you get your health back for checkpoints as well. Yeah, no, that's great. Uh, let's go. We got another one of these boys. Oh, look! A one-stop train to hell! This sounds like some DKC4 stuff. Yeah, like this this cart with like the music specifically, it's so good. Yeah. Oh my god. That instrument yeah, right there? Yeah, it's, it's the... It's the... Is that a marimba? No, it sounds too high to be a marimba. I was gonna marimba. say like xylophone, but I may be way off. Yeah, it could just be like a really big xylophone. But I feel like xylophones are almost like usually like smaller. Either way, so good. Either way, it's very DK64. Yeah. Like that sounds like Grant Kirkhope made it. Glockenspiel, the smaller one. What's the Glockenspiel look like? Isn't the Glockenspiel just like a block that you hit? No. Did I got that wrong. What am I thinking of? Yeah. I remember the Glockenspiel. That's the smaller one. Yeah. No, yeah, that's definitely a xylophone. Wow, that was great! You know, I could get used to this! Same here, Crow. I love the inspiration from Greg Kirko! <laughs> I really vibe to the music! Ooh, checkpoint! <laughs> now, Mike, are you around? I'm here! I gotta check in on my ghost oh. of, of Halloween here. You're oh. off camera, you're chilling, you just got off of the stream with one Andy Cortez. So you're chilling, you're here with us. If you were on camera and you had the option to like dress up uh, for Halloween for this uh, Halloween uh, uh, pumpkin jack stream, what would you be dressing up as right now? I think the easy answer is to go get my Black Panther outfit and rock as the sexy panther that I usually go with. No way you got a Black Panther outfit. Yeah, I have a full on uh, mascot outfit, Wes. Full on Black Panther mascot outfit. Oh, not like, right Mar Mar not like Marvel Black no, Panther. No, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a, I was just like, a hey. giant <laughs> Black Panther. Um, and then where else would I go from there after that one? Referee. Mm, mm. Do you guys have Halloween plans for uh, costumes? No, nothing special over here. I think I might go on a, I might do a marathon on Halloween. Whoa, That's where I'm at right really? Now. Yeah, Andy and, Andy and Kevin were trying to talk me down, trying to say I don't got it. And I told him I got it, so I might sign up for it. Ooh! Heed this second warning, Jack, for this will be the third. Turn back while you still can. I have nothing to fear of you, ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I ain't afraid of no For your ghosts. sake, Jack, I hope that's true. Well, here's the thing. They doubt you, but from what I understand, if you have two chai lattes in you, you're running a, su a, su a sub-seven-minute mile. Yeah, I mean, I'm, out here, that. I'm out here hiking out 14,000 foot peaks. You know, yeah, I mean, I'm up on some you got the endurance for it. I, don't got, I, I got time for this, you know, so I'm going to put in a good podcast. I'm dope to step to, and uh, yeah. I'll probably just take a nice little walk on Halloween. I ain't got no plans. Dude, I was, I was, we were recently having a conversation with one Janet Garcia, and I forget I forget the exact thing if we were talking about who would win in a race or yeah. who would win in like a marathon race. I forget which we were talking about, but yeah. I wanna, Janet Garcia is in the conversation. I feel like we keep forgetting that uh, she be running. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she be running. She be she running. Be running. Like, I, I'd go kick it with Janet and i go on a marathon. She's kicking it. She's having fun. I, you guys would definitely dust me in a marathon. 
no questions asked. I have I no mean, stamina. It's not about Dustin, big dog. You know what I mean? Like you and I, we're out there. We're it's smiling. About, it's about properly sun, pacing yourself. People. Yeah, yeah, we're we're power walking if we need to, but we're having a good time. You're saying hi to the community. You know, shaking hands, kissing babies when Dude. we used to. Now hold your horses, that. Jack. You, you guys be having a good time. I will be on the sidewalk, just with my just bent over with my knee with my hands on like above my knees, just catching my breath. Mm. Just, mm. just in in that uh that pure breath catching <laughs> position. Yeah. I'm gonna go out there, and this is the moment when I uh I run for city council. You know what I mean? I, I smooth with everybody, let them know I'd make for a great city councilor if they need me to become the mayor. I'll gladly do it. You know, anything to protect the lake and all the values of this beautiful city. I'll be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I got. Oh, we we don't really got plans uh, for for this weekend. We might just chill. We've been both Alyssa and I have been pretty busy, so we might just uh, try to enjoy co uh, each other's company and just hang out. Oh yeah, I'm going to I'm going to a birthday party tomorrow, Ooh. and I got a costume that got delivered today. Nice. That I'm very excited about. And I know you were kind of you were kind of worried about that, right? Uh, uh, yeah, I was, was very worried time. about that costume. Oh, dude, do I have a story about how that costume just get, kept getting delayed in shipping over and over again? Um, <laughs> it was in Beijing for the longest time. Mm, that'll but, happen. That'll uh, happen. I, I just got it. Just got it today, and I uh, tried it on today. And let me tell you, I'm very excited to show off this costume. You might see it, chat, on tomorrow's Games Daily. Ooh, new checkpoint. Yeah. That's better. <laughs> I try to make it creepy. I, I couldn't even stick to it. <laughs> we're talking about the pacer test. That's what we're talking about. Oh, talking, yeah, the pacer Mike, test. Mike, did you ever do the pacer test in high school? No, I never heard of that. It's the one with the where they, they bust out the boom box. Is that the TikTok song that keeps going around? It is the TikTok song, yeah. Pacer test is an elliptical test. Something like that, right? What? Yeah, so, so basically what it was was... Um, yeah, it would be the day where you come in and the gym teacher, the PE teacher, would bring in like a boom box and they'll start playing this tape. And the tape would be like, the pacer test is meant to measure, blah, 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 blah. And basically it'll start very slow where you and your classmates are running back and forth um, uh, in the gym. And the beeps are slow. And the whole thing is you gotta, you gotta get to the other side of the gym, past the line, by oh. the end of, by the time you, you hear the next beep. And I think if you miss like two, you get kicked out. Um, and the point is, endurance stamina and by the end of it speed because the yeah. beeps keep getting like faster, faster and faster, faster and faster as you go in slowly. increments yeah and it's kind of to like measure like where the students are at in terms of their physical fitness i would i will say it and this is this is definitely a this is definitely a brag here for that i was always in the top three oh. and even for when we were doing mile runs i was regularly like it was me and this one other kid who were like always going back and forth between who would have the fastest mile i felt pretty good like i also come That's from a, I, I come from a line of runners both my dad and my grandpa were like doing cross country for uh the longest time my grandpa was like still doing like uh not like marathons but he was still doing like uh runs and stuff for events until he was oh. like god uh, i think like into his late 60s so my fastest mile at peak uh, high school Barrett fitness, I would say was probably, it was probably at like six minutes. Dude, that's impressive. I feel like there was always bracking rights for the kids who were oh, in yeah. that top three. <sighs> Who just, who just kept going. Granted, like people, since then, people, I've gained a lot of, like I've, I've gained 10. a good amount of weight and I don't have that same endurance. Could I hit that again? Maybe if I have two chai lattes with Mike, you know what I'm saying, Mike? We gotta make that, mm -hmm. we gotta break, write that down for a Patreon goal for Kinda Funny Day, whenever that happens. Of like, Kinda Funny does does the pacer test to see who lasts. Cause I feel like it'll be a really fun experiment. We could do that. Uh, do I have to go back into the lever again? I must have to go back into the lever. Or maybe that lever. Snail, uh, snail, gaba ghoul in the chest says, "Do not have two chai lattes and then run." No, I'm pretty sure it's a great idea. <laughs> hey, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah. Like the road runner. Been it's great for. That. It's really healthy for your heart. From my, from what I understand. Uh, uh, absolute freak. Freak of nature. Yeah, do you know what that lever does first? Oh, there you go. Aha. Uh -huh.
Wow, that the goal is to destroy everything. <laughs> destroy you know, everything to keep the curse of the dark golden you know? star. Instead of collecting like a fun puzzle piece, they're like, yeah, at the end of this obstacle course, you're going to bring down <laughs> everything. You're gonna explode. Jimmy Two Shoes in the chat says, before the pandemic, uh, hey, I used to do three miles in under 20 minutes. That's why they call you Jimmy Two Shoes. Jimmy, you, you're using two those two shoes. shoes? Jimmy, you're my dude, Jimmy. Here's the thing. You can't judge Mike with uh, normal person judgments. He's just built differently. Built differently. Thank you for He's that. He's built differently. That. <laughs> I try to tell my friend Washburn all the time, and he just doubts me. Oh, Mike, you can't lace him up right now and go that fast. It's like, Washburn, don't doubt it, okay? Just accept it, believe it, and embrace it. And, know, and speaking of uh, really related to, uh, to the crows just uh, uh, line right here. We be fast, the day be slow. <laughs> That's a really random thing to say, by the way, <laughs> for the crow to say that, unless they were listening to our conversation. The crow has become sentient. <laughs> They're really diving deep into the, the Halloween theme uh -huh. here, making it guess what's reality and what isn't. Oh my god. Uh, Seacreed35 in chat, thank you so much. Thank you so much. There's a, a quote from a famous modern philosopher that goes, uh, I just be getting cuter. <laughs> and you know, like, I be, I be hearing what he's saying, you know? Shout out to Jack Harlow, famous philosopher Jack Harlow. <laughs> How am I supposed to cross this? <laughs> just gotta believe. Is there a water source anywhere? I'm gonna commit, I'm gonna commit. Send it. He's got big chunks. Big chunks. <laughs> All aboard the midnight train! End of the line, Jack! Oh gosh. Oh, I love this so I much. I hate roller coasters, and this just reminds me how much I hate roller coasters. That Ooh. musical choice, too. Yeah, the music is so good. Oh, what? Oh, I missed it. If you had a penny for every time you died, you'd have three pennies. Oh! Yeah, just, I, I think they just like keep reminding you how many times you died. That's great. I like that. Ooh, ooh, it's the giveaway ghost back again, everybody! I got too many codes and not enough time, so I gotta give them away right now because it could be tight, y'all. Here's the deal, type in bless to enjoy the king of Halloween and celebrate our guy blessing on the OEA Jr. right now. Type in bless into the chat to be entered into win a PS5 EU code, a PS5 NA code, or an Xbox global code for Pumpkin Jack new generation right now. God, this is, this is a banger right here. Yeah, this is great. Wait, so I always assumed that the bird was like, the crow was like shooting things, but no, it's oh. just like, it's doing a dash. Yeah, it's just no, hit, the, it, the it's hitting its head against these, uh, these okay. wood boards here. I feel kind of oh. bad for it. Oh god, oh god! Ah! Oh, it's getting messy over here, we're getting oh, real messy. Oh, it's getting fast here, Bless. Yeah, it is. Oh man. Oh, thank god, I, oh. thought, I, was, I thought I was gonna bail a few times, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Pro gaming right here. They're like, yeah, we think we, you know, like Bliss is a good 3D platformer, but let's put him to the test. That's them really. Oh, here we go, Mike. From Donkey Kong Country. Here it is. Go no further. This is the end for you. You have passed the point of no return. Twice I have warned you, Jack. And yet I'm still here. If you want me gone, you better be prepared to throw me out. Come get me, Jack! Whoa. Come get these hands! Oh, he's 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 putting you into a portal! Boss fight, baby! There we go. Oh my gosh. Already on boss fight number two. I 
I know uh, Mike is probably uh, still oh setting up uh, giveaway stuff. Your weapons are nothing against me. I got a crow. I said hold still. Oh my god. For a second, I was like, oh, they got the same moves. This is going to be a breeze. Immediately oh, switched no, they're up. putting you to the test blessing. Immediately switched it up on me. Whack those bobbers, Jack! Oh, smart, smart. Ah, see, they've been teaching you. They've been yeah. teaching you in the puzzle Game rooms. Design. Ah, man. Nowhere for you to jump now! Oh my god. You can't kill what's already dead! Oh, he's getting you. That he's means got these long range way. attacks. I forget what this attack reminds me of. I was gonna say, this attack reminds me of something I played recently, and I'm not yeah, sure what it is. Same. Maybe Metroid? Oh my god. Oh, it reminds me of Wait, Death Deltarune? Death's door with the uh, frog guy. Oh, yeah. I think that's what. I, I, I really, think, yeah. Right, yeah. Whack those bombs, Jack! I didn't realize that the crow was on top of your health bar. I wonder if you're going to get other friends. What does it take to kill you? Oh. <laughs> Someone said boss two in Returnal. What's the second boss in Returnal? Oh, yeah. The guy that flies around for a little bit. Yeah, that was the guy in the desert, right? That yeah, yeah. yeah. I will say, I think this also reminds me of a No More Heroes 3 boss. Mm. God, that piano is great. Yeah. This is going hard. Oh. They didn't need to go this hard, but they went this yeah, hard. Yeah, they went real hard for this boss fight. Good for them. Whack those bombs, Jack! No, three, Jack! Baby. What Four have threes. you done? Oh, look at that trophy. Ghostbuster! Wow, I can't believe. The one true Ghostbuster of kind of funny. Love blessing it. Andy, yeah, Andy, Andy. Andy. true Ghostbuster me, and know. King of Halloween, y'all. I'm a huge fan of those movies. He's Probably the, the biggest best. fan of this company. We're going to give away these game codes right now. So, first up for some PS5 EU codes coming down. We got Joel White. Congratulations, Joel White. Remember, if you win and you're not in the EU, make a friend. Send it to somebody you love out in the EU and surprise them. Coheed25 is my next winner right there. We're going to be burning and turning through these. Philip PW26, congratulations, Phil. You're a winner. Up after that is going to be Assassin RN. Congratulations, Assassin RN. Let's give a couple more of these EU codes. Lil Pudding Cup. Congratulations, Lil Pudding Cup. You're a winner. Keeping it going. We got Poe 2387. Congratulations, Poe. You're a winner. Let's give away two more EU codes. True Messiah. Congratulations to True Messi. You're a winner. And my final EU code is Hawaiian Donkey Punch. Congratulations, Hawaiian Donkey Punch. Up next, PS5 NA codes. Gonna be uh, Zanny with a planny. I don't know if that's correct, but- <laughs> No, I'm you got it. Zan with a plan, you got it, you got it. Zan with a plan. Tax man, tax man, congratulations, you're a winner. Up next, it's gonna be Never Render, Never Ender. Congratulations, you're a winner. Couple more NA codes right now. Uh, Bear Baldy, Bear Baldy, congratulations, Bear Baldy. Recognize that name out in the chat right there. Keeping it going. Couple more. We got Last Glass Gaming. Congratulations, Last Glass Gaming. You're a winner. Two more NA codes right now. It's gonna be uh, Jamma Alive, Jamma Jamma, Jamma Slamma. You're a winner. And one more NA code to make people happy. It's gonna be Monkey Ears. It could be monkey bars, could be monkey ears. Either way, I really like no, I it. I think you nailed it. I think you nailed let's, it, Mike. Let's keep great. it going. Let's get some Xbox codes now. I got Davy Brooks. Davy Brooks, congratulations. You're a winner. After that, commit to clutch. You're a winner, my friend. Congratulations. And I have the singer bro. Singer bro, congratulations. What do you think he's singing? Ariana? <laughs> Just some, according. It's uh, me, Ariana, for sure. Some in sync, some Mariah Carey. Doja, Doja Cat. <laughs> Ooh, mystery bot 77777. You're a winner. And our final 
Xbox winner for right now is going to be Snake Eating Mouse. Congratulations, Snake Eating Mouse. You're a winner. Those are all the codes I got until our final giveaway here in about 15 minutes. See you then. There you go. There you go. <gasps> Hoo -hoo! A, commendable, uh, a commendable display, Jack. That body of yours is surely proving its worth. I've been toppling brutes his size since I was a lad. <laughs> really? What on earth did they feed kids where you grow up? Yes, well done. Now get a flap on. We're here for a reason. If I'm not mistaken, this mountain was once home to a tribe of powerful sorcerers. They must have left this tablet behind as their last testament. This is it? I came all this way for a big rock with some words on it? <laughs> is that a tablet? Or an obelisk? Darkest hours of man, champion shall be summoned. Could you pick up the pace? Did you leave your glasses back in the nest or something? <laughs> Aha, yes, yes, I see now. The amulet of, the fi of final ember. Who? just saying it makes me feel powerful. The last line is unreadable, but man's champion needs this amulet to muster the power to dispel the devil's curse. Rocks and jewelry. This is me, or this is this is turning out to be a pretty lame job. Ah, uh, so I might be missing something, but where's these amulets supposed to be? Why, it's just down here. Hmm. What is it, bird? Where is the blasted thing? It's already gone, and righty so. <laughs> I love the quick thing on that, Barrett. What the cause is that? Talking birds, and now talking swords? Yeah, this is definitely a lame job. I must say, this is very peculiar. In case you hadn't noticed, this place is pretty lousy for magic stuff. No wonder people have been tripping over themselves to swipe that amulet. And you, you've got a lot to answer for, you charlatan. Who? Well, I never. How dare you, you, you oversized butter cutter. I don't know, butter knife is probably what he said. <laughs> if you call that mess of a fight I just saw commendable, I thoroughly question your tutelage. You gourd face, who are you? Who are you? I'm Jack, and I like you already. Well, get used to me. If you're going to fight, you will learn to do it right. I will teach you. Wait, did you two miss the part where that thing said we were too late? Someone took the amulet? Who? 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 Take it easy, no need to yell the leather off my handle. Your friend came and took the amulet. I assume you distracted that awful phantom so he could get here ahead of you. Our friend? Greetings! <laughs> Ka? Yeah, that chap. I'm guessing you don't know each other. I know more than enough now. So you are the pariah. The champion of the devil himself has sent for me. Frankly, I'm disappointed. Show yourself, you <coughs> coward. Barry, hang in there. I'm sure. I'm sure I it's know. almost over. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm already long. I'm, I, see, I'm, I'm not convinced of this uh, this uh, voice that I've come up with because this got, is the you wizard. Got, you got the space. This so is the we wizard. Understand, we understand that you are a master of your craft, and you like. It's it's okay for you to be to feel out feel out different voices. Because <laughs> okay, like I, I feel like I nailed it with the first line, and then I I, I think I lost it a little bit. I I, I, I mean, kind of lost. To play. It. You're playing 19 different characters <laughs> at the same time. You know, we understand. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Because I, I don't want it to be too much like the crow. Oh, uh, I gotta appreciate this music right now. It's really this good. Is, this is fire. Like. Like, imagine this with like a, a nice drum beat below it, some, some trap drums, some hi-hats. 
Like, oh man, that would hit different. Yeah. That would hit different. Oh, Sorry, yeah. go on, go on. That, that'll be in the remix version, bless. I might have to make that myself. I only stuck around to study your flight, your fight with my associate. Very enlightening. You really do put on a show. I'll be more than happy to give you an encore when I rip that face off your skull. Dang! <laughs> and I'll pry that amulet out of your cold, dead hands. Dang! We'll see about that. For now, this bobble requires further study to access its power. Perhaps you should join me. We could study it together and break this, uh, piffling little curse. This, this guy really gives me the creeps. He left an innocent spirit to be completely destroyed just to watch you fight. I may be evil, and I may work for the devil, but you, sir, are a jerk. <laughs> Consider my proposal. There's so much more I want to study about you, Jack. That's it. This just got personal. Now the stakes are set. Because oh at God. first, Pumpkin Jack was like, I don't know if I want to be a part of this. Like, this doesn't seem like a job for me. Oh, now we got the sword. We got the sword. It sounds like this. I don't know why I made his voice like this, but I'm going to stick with it. I'll say I'm very invested in the story. <laughs> I know. Well, I'm just saying, like, Pumpkin Jack was like, oh, this is lame. Like, it's just about amulets and rocks and stuff. But, like, now, like, you used me for your own game. I, I like that we get the, the personal stakes now. You know, Barrett, as I sit here doing this fun Pumpkin Jack sponsored stream, sitting here wearing a uh, King of Halloween costume sent to me by Spirit Halloween, Wearing fuser sunglasses and drinking out of my Butterfinger bo water bottle. Sometimes I sit and think, am I shill? <laughs> and the answer is no, chat. <laughs> this, is a, this is a great time. I love working here. That's a great way to spend a Thursday afternoon, I won't lie. This is a great Thursday. Jack and his companions rush from the mountain and follow cool. the wizard's trail of magic into the wilderness. Barris wizard voice sounds like a DBZ villain. This is a compliment. Thank you. I imagine I sound like Krillin. Granted, I've never watched Dragon Ball, so I don't know. Ooh, have you ever had any interest in watching it? No. I remember I had to weirdly, for like some videos for IGN, I had to like uh, capture some footage from like, what's the recent one, Super? Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters? No, or are you talking uh, about for the anime? Yeah, the anime. Dragon Ball Super. Yeah. <laughs> And there's like the whole like tournament arc going on where they're like fighting in space. This place looks long forgotten. Um, and like that was like kind of cool. And I remember someone tried to get me to like watch like right from the beginning of uh, Z. And I was like, yeah, like I, I respect it for what it is. And I respect that it made a, like a lot of headway for like current anime today. And especially with, like the amount of like coverage that anime gets now in the West, like we have to Dragon Ball Z to really, like really thank for that. It's just not for me. No, I feel that, I feel that. Part of me thinks that like you being so into my hero could possibly lend to you digging T B Z, but there's also like plenty like, it's not one for one. Like there's plenty of anime out there to watch. Yeah. Whatever happened here, it was bad. And also like I said, like I I like certain anime, but like I'm not not all anime is gonna vibe with me. Is what of I'm course. like. I, I like a handful of anime. I'm not like a anime uh, like stand where I'm. You know, I have to watch everything. You gotta I watch to all the greatest. Yeah. The greatest hits. That's my thing. I've never seen Naruto, and I used to feel not ashamed, but I always felt like, oh man, I gotta watch Naruto. Yeah. I hit a point where I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> like, it's not like everybody watches every single sitcom. Why do I expect myself to watch every single anime? You know. Exactly. <laughs> That's Let's it. Everybody should watch Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> Looks like we've got company. I will say whenever Yu Yu Hakusho uh, shows up in my feed, I'm like, hmm. That or Hunter Hunter. When Hunter Hunter pops up, I'm like, Dude, Bless, Hunter Bless would Hunter probably take me so like long it. to watch through. Yeah, yeah. I like Hunter Hunter, but like, I think I've hit a wall where maybe I'm done with it. Mm -hmm. I really like the first season of Hunter Hunter. Yeah, uh, yeah. I hit season three now. Um, at least in the way that it's on Netflix, uh, it's that season three. I don't know if it's like officially season three, but I'm in I'm in season three, quote unquote. And I don't know, man. I'm just not into it anymore. It's sad. I'm gonna love you, Hawk Show, so much, and it's the same creator. Mm. 
That's probably like there's like watch Dragon Ball, watch Naruto. It's like, do y'all know how long those shows are? There's so much. There's so much to to. You still have much to learn, young grasshopper. There's so much to watch there. So it's just like I don't. It's it's one of those things where it like. Just watch what you enjoy. That's right. Yeah, I'm yeah. And so of course I say that, and I'm like secretly like watching like One Piece when I can. But at least like One Piece, I know there's a million episodes, but at least it's just one show. Whereas like there's Naruto and there's Shippuden and there's Boruto, and it's just like man, like I do want to watch. So uh, much story. I do have a list of things I do want to watch. I do want to get to. I yeah. still got to get to Full Metal Alchemist Ooh. Uh, Brotherhood. I still got to get to Juju. Uh, was it Jujutsu Kaisen? Yeah. Really want to watch that. Um, <laughs> I want to try out Demon Slayer, even though I've heard mixed things from people about Demon Slayer. But yeah, I've I've really I've I think I've given up on Demon Slayer. I'm still going through Jujutsu Kaisen like pretty slowly, but I'm like it, I'm still invested in it. It's just like finding the time to watch it. Um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, man. Uh, Any time, if any content we need to make around that, I will just I will talk about Brotherhood for Hell yeah. forever. Um, and yeah, it's it, there's only like it's only like 50 episodes or something. Bless you can buy. Uh, you can okay, get that appeals it in, to me. In a Dude, clip. last winter. I kid you not. This is how much. Uh, this is how obsessed I am with Yu Hakusho. I watched Yu Hakusho the full thing, which is like over a hundred episodes, in the span of I want to say like a week, maybe. <laughs> That's awesome. Maybe like a little bit over a week. Oh my god! Oh, oh wow! Oh, oh. oh wow! They got me. It's because I was talking about anime instead of focusing yeah. on my job. <laughs> They're like, you're talking about anime. Time to go back to hell. <laughs> yeah. New back checkpoint. In. Can you guys please make content around Full Metal Alchemist? There's no real reason, but please. <laughs> Once we get back to Anime Thursdays, that that's got to be something that we watch. I know that's something Mike oh, yeah. has already seen, but I would I would really love to like have an be, excuse to be, make be, you watch. Oh, that. speaking of Anime Thursdays, I got to get back to Attack on Titan because that mm. thing is tight. Oh, oh! They they they're cranking you're getting, up. That, you're uh, getting too fast here, bless. You got time and I here. am. I'm getting too confident, and they're also I think cranking up the difficulty a little bit now that I'm further in. But yeah, that uh, I I loved Attack on Titan season one so much that mm. when uh, we decided to to or like when we we're figuring out other shows for anime anime talk for our streams, mm -hmm. I uh, we didn't have Attack on Titan season two on the docket at all, and I was just like, you know what? What if I just started it? Because I really gotta know <laughs> what's about to happen. Spidey eighty two just show. said uh, they're starting Cowboy Bebop and they're loving it. Heck yeah! Ooh, I've been thinking about that too. Have That's you never watched? Show. I've watched like the first episode probably like a million times. It's so. But no, I'm not. I watching, I'm not watching through it. And I think it's. I think that's a short one too. Yeah, it's a very short one. Okay, that's where I died the first time. Okay, this does a lot of damage. Yeah. But I gotta be careful around these things. <clears throat> Just time it out. Uh oh. Okay, I think that was a tech point. Have you watched, uh, uh, what's it called? Death Note? Parts of it a very long time ago. It's been forever since I watched Death Note. I want to watch it again. I loved that that show. Oh! Wow. Oh. Dude, this is, you're in, you're in a tough segment right now. Yeah, they're bringing the business. Oh, they, 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 they got you to start here, though. That's nice. Yeah. Got to a new checkpoint there. Yeah, they ain't messing around. Oh, my God. So is, is this oh. power is this power that you're using, This uh, the power that the sword is giving to you? Yep, it's the new sword. It's the new sword. Seven deaths. Dang. Just racking like it up. Four of them have been in the last five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Chat, we're gonna be patient, Pete. Patient, Pete. Right. We're gonna be patient, Pete. We're gonna summon those patient Pete's. We're not just gonna rush in there. We're gonna be thoughtful about our approach. And as I say that, I'm rushing in. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh. Okay, I think. Good. You get an A for effort, but your form is atrocious. Fair. That's very fair. <laughs> I can't even argue. 
The sword is throwing shade at you. Okay. Well, I wonder if, the, if there was a the different dialogue choice if he thought like you actually did well. No, I assume it's gonna be the same one. Yeah, it's fair. And I don't, I don't get the sense that this is tracking my actual performance. Someone was asking him. Uh, hold on. Wow, first skeletons have ghosts, and now wood has ghosts. What's next? Pebble ghosts? <laughs> Who's this guy? I don't know. I don't like him though. Hmm, well, 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 a new face, also always a pleasant surprise to meet some new friends around here. Uh, really, really, really inspired choice. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? Why, I'm a local merchant. My name is... I'm I haven't asked you for your name, and I don't plan on caring. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, well then, who are you? My name... Jack, I'm tracking a, lo a loathsome little wizard into the swamp. Hmm. Did you say Jack as in THE Jack? Uh, that depends on which Jack you mean. The Jack who tricked the devil himself, not what? Not twice? But thrice? <laughs> huh. Most people leave that <laughs> most people leave out the third time. Yes, old timer. I'm THE Jack. Wow. Oh, joyous day, right? She'll be so happy. What are you talking about, you old coot? I don't know if I can say that word. Is that a, is that a fine word? Yeah, no, that's like that's like a old person, like kind of. Okay, I've not heard anybody use that term. Yeah. Oh, nothing, no, nothing really. I just have something to attend to around here. Please find me again along the way. Yeah, it's uh, Coot is like an eccentric old man. Oh, uh, I see, I see, I see. Very well. Anything for a fan. It was really the laugh. It was the it was like the in-game laugh that really inspired that voice there. So shout out to them. Love this that. is this looks this is Bloodborne as hell right here. Yeah. Yeah, that is. This is the guy in the top hat. This is like if, if Bloodborne was turned into like a, a mid two thousands Cartoon Network game. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say if, if Bloodborne was adapted by Cartoon Network, for sure. <laughs> one final time, it's me, Ghost Giveaway Mike, with one final giveaway for all of those incredible, kind of funny best friends here on a lovely Thursday afternoon. I have more Pumpkin Jack Next Generation codes right now. The new gen version of the game is now out, and we're giving away codes. And let me tell you what, Baird and Bless. I have written so many chat messages that Twitch has banned me from writing any more chat messages. Oh, my oh what? I am now whispering people from the Kind of Funny account. So keep an eye out on your Twitch whispers from the Kind of Funny account because Snow Mike Mike cannot message for the time being. I'm on cooldown time now. So Spooky Ghost Giveaway Mike is going to give away more Pumpkin Jack code right here, right now. All you have to do is type in Buzz into the chat. That's B-U-C-T for my very own Buzz like here, my best friend over there, having some fun. You'll be entered in to win, and I will select our final giveaway winners right here, right now. And also, big shout out. Big shout out, Baron and Bless, to all the incredible kind of funny best friends with the very kind words, the comments, the messages after winning, whether you can use the code or can't use the code because you're not in N-A or E-U. All of you are so kind. You're such incredible kind of funny best friends working together and giving away those codes. So thank you so much for all of the help right there. Type in Buzz right now, and I will pick our final winners here in T-minus three minutes. <clears throat> so we're working on the final giveaway of the stream. We are... Winding down on the stream actually in a, just a little bit. Blessing, we have been playing Pumpkin Jack for almost two hours. Have you been having fun? This has been a good time to spend a Thursday afternoon. This has been a great time. This has been a great way to spend a Thursday afternoon for sure. Uh, yeah, like I did. 
as we play as we played two hours of this it, it has become very clear why they hit us up to play this game yeah because i've never felt so spoken to by a video game just in terms of genre in terms of inspiration in terms of all the callbacks and all the references that they have not only in the gameplay but in the trophies the the minecart sequence which was very donkey kong very donkey kong country and donkey kong 64 yeah uh this has been a blast this has been a blast and in case for, if you didn't know Ladies and gentlemen, and everybody joined with us watching today. We are playing Pumpkin Jack New Gen Edition, which is all about stepping into the shoes of the mythical Pumpkin Lord Pumpkin Jack, uh, which sees you set out on an epic quest to help evil triumph over good. 3D platforming challenges in the colorful and diverse Arc and Seal Kingdom are mixed with fun combat encounters where you can deploy an awesome arsenal of weapons uh, like the, the Talking Sword or the Snarky Crow or the Haughty Owl fighting at your side, as well as solving puz uh, light puzzles and taking on various minigame challenges. Pumpkin Jack New Gen Edition is an old school 3D platformer inspired by the likes of Medieval and Jack and Dexter, created by solo developer Nicolas Maisonnier. Available on October 27th, which was yesterday, so it's out now. Uh, the new gen edition for, of the game for PS5 and Xbox Series X S has a performance mode that targets up to 4K resolution at 60 frames per second on PS5 and Xbox Series X. A quality mode is also available that targets up to 4K resolution at 30 frames per second, adding qu higher quality effects and shadows with ray tracing. So there you go. If you wanted to know more about Pumpkin Jack new gen edition, and as Mikey is working out, uh, you could have a chance to, to uh, get a code here uh, by typing in buzz into the chat. Uh, we are giving uh, out uh, our last PS5 EU codes, PS5 North America codes, and Xbox Global codes. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get it, get it. <laughs> ah, it out. ah, Jack, there you are. I am so glad we met together. I want to tell you about my wife. My wife? Uh, I don't care much about you. Why would I care about your wife? Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's idolized you for centuries. She's your biggest fan. Do you go on? We've been married for 343 years, but she's always adored your tales. You know, Bear, after 343 years, you, you kind of got to spice things okay, up. Okay, you know no, I mean? let's move on. Let's move on. You know let's I mean, move on. Sometimes let's move you gotta, on. Like, talk about, like, hey, how do we. Stop uh, it. Let's move on. How do we add in more spice into this marriage, Bear? <laughs> Paprika. We've spent many nights discussing your feats of malice and trickery. She's a powerful witch, and I'm out here collecting ingredients for her greatest concoction. Oh man, Bear, what do you think is in that concoction, you know? Probably to like uh, a, a feed to him, and then he's gonna get really powerful and giant, and then he's gonna be our next boss fight. A witch, hmm? I could, <laughs> I could use her. This wizard is powerful and smart. I need her information. I'm sure she'd love to help, but I need to get her ingredients first. If you can help me find the mushrooms she needs, I'll take you to her. Why must I in why why must I pick up your errands? Why can't you just tell me where she is? Only my horse can take you to her. Find the mushrooms, and you can ride him. Stupid plot controversies. Wait, no, contra. What is that word? Contravencies? Contra Contravencies? Have you seen that word before, Barrett? No, I'm 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 gonna be uh, honest there. Man, I'm too much of an egg yo, brain to Nic Nicola, even... developer, Nicola Missonier. Great vocabulary. <laughs> I, that's what you pulled out. And uh yeah, dude, I I've never seen that on thesaurus.com. But uh kudos. Yeah. Fine, I'll fetch the stupid mushrooms. Mm, oh, like contrived? That makes sense. Much obliged! I'll stay right here and wait for your return. I'm contrived. I like that. I like that. Let's pick some like winners a, right here, right now. Word for the word of the, the day. Word of the day. Word of the day. Contrived. Unlike these winners, because they're definitive. All right, winners are gonna be. <laughs> King Rabla for some PS5 EU codes. Congratulations, King Rabla. You're a winner. Moving on. Next EU code is going to be Booze Bags, JD. Booze Bags, congratulations. You're a winner. My final EU code is going to uh, Naughty Slander. Just made that word up. Naughty Slander. Not the, not the Lysander. <laughs> up next, three NA codes. That's gonna be Remington 56. Congratulations, Remington. You're a winner. 
Up next after that is going to be Darnarellin. That's a Dralian191. Oh, the lion. I was going to call him. I like it. Dralian. And up next is going to be uh, Josh. Jasha. Joshua. Joshua B. Oh, really? Okay. Well, we got that one together. Okay. Up next is going to be Xbox Codes. <laughs> the Hen Hen. Congratulations, Hen Hen. You're a winner. And my final giveaway code of the day for Pumpkin Jack is going to be... Drew oh. Ankershaw. <laughs> D. Oh, this is going to put me. Um, D. Dwayne Araksha. Okay, Dwayne Araksha. Congratulations. Dwayne Drew the Rock winner. Johnson. <laughs> Can we talk about the sound that was just made? As a, Oh, it's gone now. When I was jumping on those mushrooms, it. It, it was making some fart sounds. And I didn't That's know funny. if you guys were hearing it or not, but it was. Hold on, let me see if I can go back. I did that on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scripted death. Scripted, scripted death right there, everybody. Let's see if I can do that again. Yeah, it does. Listen closely to the sound this makes. <laughs> Yeehaw, to the top! Great sound design. Yeah, great guys. sound design. Great sound design. <laughs> Like I said earlier, uh, Barrett, this is a great way to spend a Thursday. But let yeah. me tell you, very hot in my room right now. Yeah. Just, <laughs> let me also tell you, the the jacket that I'm wearing, along with the long sleeve shirt, along with the shirt I'm wearing under the shirt, oh man, am I sweating. And I'm so ready to take all this off <laughs> as soon as the camera goes off. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely ready. Like I've already, like I, I planned ahead or I'm just like wearing shorts and like a, a shirt under here. So when I take the Buzz Lightyear costume off, I'm gonna like feel all of that like fresh air. But uh, Chad, if you if you guys want some more shenanigans, make sure to tune in tomorrow. Kind of funny games daily, and then afterwards, of course, we got a big stream going down. That is down. true. So yeah, tomorrow, tournament. kind of funny games daily. The last episode of Games Daily before Halloween, so yeah. maybe expect some uh, Halloween fun there. And then tomorrow, after Games Daily, Greg Miller is gone for the rest of the year, uh, taking care of that baby, who is slated to be very big, according to Mike. Um, tracking. Yeah, tracking, tracking, tracking to be big. Uh, since Greg is no longer is not here for the rest of the year, we need a new CEO to uh, help us uh, stay on track for the rest of the year. So to decide who the uh, you know interim CEO is uh, while Greg is gone, uh, we are doing several rounds of Mario Party. We'll be playing Mario Party Superstars tomorrow, and the first round uh, for tomorrow will be Mike, Tim, Andy, and Bless. And on Monday, November first, after Games Daily, round two will be um, Nick, Kev, myself, and Roger. So the top two uh, uh, winners, uh, top two people in both of those games will go on to a third round to battle it out uh, for the new interim CEO of uh, Kind of Funny while Greg Miller is gone. All playing uh, Mario Party Superstars. That'll be a fun time. Especially with the good reviews it's getting. I'm really excited to actually like have an excuse to play this. I wasn't looking forward to it when I learned that I was facing off against Nick, Kevin, and Roger all at the same time because I know that I will be the that, one that they gang up on. That's an instant win though. That's an instant win. Like those jabronis. Yeah. No, they're, they're, no, because here's the thing is that Roger likes to, you know, um, stoke the fires under Kev. Nick is also gonna be there causing chaos. So like I'm gonna I'm gonna be the one that they all kind of like jump I, on. I like that group there. You wanna switch groups? I like that group. <laughs> no, 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 no. You I got you like gotta cause some chaos. You're just scared group. of blessing. No, you gotta yeah. face off against blessing in that first As round. We should be. I plan to become the CEO. In yeah. my first order of business. We're going back to the studio right away, everybody. Oh, oh, studio. Studio. We're going back into an empty studio. We're going to make some content, everybody. The studio is not ready and, for and if, and, there, and if Tim uh, wins, uh, he is fighting in place of Joey Noel. So uh, if Tim wins, Joey will be the CEO. Yeah, to the top. New checkpoint. <laughs> How many platinums does the baby already have? I assume at least five. Oh yeah, baby definitely has platinums. Baby's yeah. probably surpassed me in platinums by now. <laughs> jazz wings. Ah, <laughs> uh, like jazz hands, but he's got yeah. wings. Ah, uh, haha. What is? This? Oh, it's a memorization thing. I've already forgotten it though. Okay. Let's okay. Do it again. 
Okay, no, 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 no. So you're yellow, gonna you're gonna yellow, go one, yellow. two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four. You're nailing it, Wes. Easy. Nailed it. It's easy. The baby has the Metal Gear 5 Platinum already. <laughs> <laughs> that was Beethoven. Good yeah. call, whoever said that in chat. Creed. Oh, gosh. Bro, we don't... First of all, great trophy. Decomposer. Him, decomposer. Nice. Second of all, we don't get Beethoven enough credit. Beethoven was in his Duffy. Like, that dude was in the studio. We don't give doing, him like, enough credit. <laughs> he was doing the Dr. Dre head bob as he was composing this, these things. Like... He was going off. He made some crucial cuts, bro. Was he the one who that eventually went old. deaf? Yes, I believe so. And he was still and he went he deaf still, and he was still uh, yeah. composing. Like, come on, bro. Shout out Beethoven. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was the end of the stream. I put down my controller. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can wrap it up here. It is uh reaching for uh, PM, we have been hanging out for a bonus kind of funny uh, twitch.tv slash kind of funny game stream playing Pumpkin Jack again. If you don't know, Pumpkin Jack New Gen Edition is an old school 3D platformer inspired by the likes of Many Evil and Jack and Dexter, created by solo developer Nicolas Messonnier. Available on October 27th, which was yesterday, which means it's out now. A perfect time to play it this weekend since it's Halloween weekend. The New Gen Edition of the game for PS5 and Xbox Series X S has a performance mode that targets up to 4k resolution at 60 frames per second and on ps5 and xbox series x a quality mode is also available that tar targets up to 4k resolution at 30 frames per second adding higher quality effects and shadows with ray tracing uh we've definitely had a fun time playing the last couple hours um so thank y'all for joining us for another kind of funny uh stream i'll leave you oh i was, I was gonna do a one more uh vo read oh, we there. can talk to him again well actually no we can't there, right? no we can't it's a it's, it's okay it's all right um we will leave you here kind of funny best friends thank you so much for joining us return here tomorrow for more uh kind of funny games daily and for more uh twitch.tv slash kind of funny games gameplay stream goodness but until next time ladies gentlemen and everybody joined with us today it's been our pleasure to serve you